Hello everyone. I'm Coach Ikegawa. Today, I'd like to talk about trust data sharing and utilization infrastructure for sensitive data using hyperledger projects. Once again, my name is Koshi Ikegawa from Hitachi Research and Development Group at Japan. This is my first time to participate in Open Source Summit Japan. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to present my work. Here is a light introduction to my activities. I joined Hitachi as a researcher in April 2019, and I'm researching and developing blockchain applications. I began contributing to the Hyperledger projects in 2020. This is the outline of this presentation. First, I will explain some background on the market needs and explain introdu introduction that in includes how blockchain work. Next, in this presentation, I will focus on a project called Hyperledger Fabric Private Chain Code. I'll demonstrate how to use Hyperledger Fabric Private Chain Code. Third, I'll explain the motivation for this presentation by comparing it to related work. Next, I will explain the design and approach of the system in this presentation. Finally, I will summarize this presentation. In this section, I'll explain some background on the market needs and explain introduction that includes how blockchain work. Background. According to the World Economic Forum 2019, the realization of data free flow with trust, DFFT, is a top priority for the new economy. Data free flow with trust is the free and trustworthy flow of data between nations and uh, organizations. As a means to realize the data free flow with trust, we ex expect the utilization of blockchain technology. A feature of blockchains is that transactions and data content are shared and written to a ledger by all participating organizations. There is open data that can be shared with all organizations. On the other hand, there is sensitive data that needs to be restricted in who it can be shared with. Examples of sensitive data include medical data and personal information. When handling sensitive data, privacy protection is required by laws. For example, the Act on the Protection of Personal Information Law in Japan and GDPR in Europe. There are many blockchain platforms, each with a different network type and consensus algorithm. There are two main types of networks in blockchain. The public type allows 
anyone to have a node in the blockchain. The private type requires the consensus permission, consortium's permission for the organization to participate. Blockchains do not have a central administrator. Therefore, in order to share the ledger with everyone on the network, a consensus must be reached among the participating organizations. The method to achieve such a consensus is the consensus algorithm. There are multiple methods of consensus algorithms, such as proof of work used for Bitcoin and end ordering service used for Hyperledger Fabric. We are contributing to Hyperledger projects and realizing a variety of use cases. Hyperledger Fabric is one of the open source private type blockchain platform managed by the Hyperledger Foundation. This figure shows an example of a blockchain network using Hyperledger Fabric. Each of the three organizations has its own peer. Peer is a blockchain node owned by each organization. Ledger is a collection of blocks that pack transactions. State database is the result of executing a transaction managed by the ledger. Order decides the order of the transactions and distributes the blocks to the peers. Hyperledger Fabric uses a smart contract called Chain Code. Chain Code runs transactions that may modify the data on state database. Transactions are written to the ledger after getting consensus from other organizations. The consensus algorithm of Hyperledger Fabric is the endos ordering service. First, a peer owned by another organization executes a transaction on the chain code, verifies that it is correct, and endos it. Next, the order correct the transactions that have received the endorsement, resolves the ordering relationship, package them into blocks, and distributes the blocks to peers. A channel in the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain network is a private layer of communication between specific organizations, invisible to other organizations that do not belong to that channel. Each channel consists of a separate ledger that can only be read and written by the organizations participating in that channel. In this figure, organization 1, 2, and 3 participate to channel A, and each organization has ledger A. In addition, organization 2 and 4 participate to channel B, and each organization has ledger B. The private data collection feature of Hyperledger Fabric stores data that is 
to be kept secret in a database outside the ledger and exchanges the data through directory communication between peers. The hash value of the data stored as private data is managed in the ledger. There are many use cases using hyperledger fabric. DLT Labs and Walmart are using fabric to implement a food traceability system. Honeywell Aerospace is using Fabric to implement an online parts marketplace. IBM is using Fabric to implement container logistics solution called TradeLens. Hyperledger Fabric is also expected to be used in areas such as healthcare where sensitive data is handled. In order to achieve this, the functionality of Hyperledger Fabric itself may not be sufficient. Hyperledger has projects to enhance the privacy protection of Fabric. For example, there is Hyperledger Avalon and Hyperledger Fabric Private Chain Code. Hyperledger Avalon is a ledger independent implementation of the trusted compute specifications published by the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. Avalon aims to enable the secure movement of blockchain processing of the main chain to dedicated computing resources. Our own guarantee is a trust execution of a program in the protected area by CPU native secure function called trusted execution environment. Hyperledger fabric private chain code enables the execution of chain code using trusted execution environment. Transactions and data are encrypted and written to the ledger. Since the ledger and state database are encrypted, transactions and data cannot be retrieved by directory access. By including logic to control access rights in the privacy, private chain code, the system can control where transactions and data are published. I will give a brief introduction to what trusted execution environment is. Trusted execution environment is a CPU security function. This technology provided by CPU vendors such as Intel, ARM, AMD. Hyperledger Avalon and Hyperledger Fabric private chain code use Intel software guard extensions for their implementations. I will explain about Intel SGX. Intel SGX is a CPU feature that creates an encrypted area called an enclave in random access memory. And it loads programs and data into enclave, allowing programs to be executed while protecting sensitive data. It is available in Intel 6th generation CPUs and later. Here, we will show the difference between the original chain code and the private chain code. 
for both chain calls, the user invokes the chain code in the peer to execute the transaction. The process of transaction is executed on the chain code. The, chain, the transaction is written to the ledger and the result is written to the state database. Since the original chain code stores the contents of the ledger and the state database in plain text, users can directly access them to check the contents. On the other hand, in the public private chain code, a user invokes the chain code with the transaction encrypted. The chain code encrypts and stores the contents of the ledger and the state database contents. Therefore, even if users access ledger or state database directory, they will not be able to check the contents. Chain code and public private chain code can coexist on the same channel of the same blockchain network. A single ledger can be used to manage information that is shared by all organizations participating in the channel of the blockchain network, and information that is kept secret and disclosed only to a few organizations. Public-private chain code is still a developing project, and there are no real-world real examples yet. But there are some use cases introduced by the community that I would like to share with you. The first one is auctions. Applications that realize auctions need to be designed in such a way that co collusion and other fraudulent activities are not possible. Public-private chain code can be used to execute chain code on trusted execution environment while keeping transactions secret. The second is a use case in the healthcare field. When training a model such as convolutional neural network to detect brain abnormalities, a large amount of data is required to achieve high accuracy. Due to legal re regulations such as GDPR, it is not possible to share CT scans and MRI images of the brain taken by radiologists. In these use cases, public private chain code can be used as blockchain infrastructure that can be shared freely while protecting privacy. In this section, I will show a demonstration. I will explain an um, overview of the demonstration. First, I will explain how to start a fabric, private, fa fabric blockchain network for fabric private chain code. Next, I will explain how to install a private chain code. Last, I will explain how to check ledger data using a GUI data viewer. I will explain the pre-requirements for conducting this demonstration. 
the first step is to prepare a machine with a built-in Intel CPU that has Intel SGX. In Microsoft Azure, you can create a virtual machine with a built-in Intel CPU that has Intel SGX. Even if your machine does not support Intel SGX, you can try Fabric Private Chain Code Simulation Mode. The verification environment that I prepared this time is as following. Next, please install the necessary software packages listed here on the machine. And also to run Intel SGX on Linux, please build and install Linux SGX provided by Intel. Next. Please create an Intel developer account and issue something called Enhanced Privacy ID. Please go to this site to generate an EPID and please make a note of the SPID and primary key. The next step is to introduce the procedure for building a fabric private chain code container image. First, clone the fabric private chain code source code. Next, write the EPID that you wrote down earlier into the configuration file. Next, Configure the setting for using SGX. Next, clone and launch the build container image that contains all the necessary packages to build the public private chain code container. With the above operations, the FPC development main container will be launched. Subsequent operations are performed with a bash on this container. Next step, run make to build all required fabric private chain code components and run the integration tests. Next. Please clone fabric samples from GitHub. Next, rewrite the settings from the fabric, private, fa fabric samples default network settings to the network settings for fabric private chain code. Finally, start fabric blockchain network. Here is how to install a private chain code. First, build private chain code. Next, install the chain code. Last, run the chain code. This is a simple private chain code used in this demonstration. In the store set function, please specify key and value and store them in the state database. In the retrieve asset function, specify a key, return the value paired with the key stored in the state database. Last, let's check the data in the ledger using the GUI Data Viewer. First, launch GUI Data Viewer called Hyperledger Explorer. Next, 
invoke the following data using the store set function of a simple private chain code. Access the Hyperledger Explorer using a web browser. When using public private chain code, invoked value is an encrypted state. If the same logic is implemented in the original chain code, stored value is not encrypted. In this section, I will explain the motivation for this presentation by comparing it to related work. <coughs> related work. We introduced a use case. We created an infrastructure to manage and utilize genome data in multiple organizations and have confirmed proof of concept. In this use case, multiple organizations are participating in a blockchain network for genome data sharing. A focus point low genome data must not be passed on to other organizations because the data is sensitive data. Therefore, analyze the data on the processor of the data owner organization and pass only the results to other organizations. This figure is an overview of the proof of concept we conducted. First, patients agree to utilize genome data and provide the data. Organization 2 doctor stores genome data in genome data storage. Organization 1 doctor requests utilization of genome data owned by Organization 2. Organization 2's data processor loads specified genome data and analyzes that data and returns results. Related work system architecture have a problem when handling sensitive data. The problem is that the non-related organization can view the details of the transactions. Our motivation is to solve the problem by keeping, keeping transactions and data exchange secret from non-related organizations. In this section, I will explain the design and approach of the system in this presentation. To realize our motivation, we have designed a blockchain network with public private chain code. This blockchain network installs one type of original chain code and two types of private chain codes. The genome data catalog chain code is installed as the original chain code as it should be shared by all organizations belonging to this blockchain network. The data permission management chain code and the task management chain code is installed as private chain code, since transactions and data should be shared only among organizations that exchange data. I visualize the contents of the state database in tables. First, Organization 2 doctor stores genome data in the storage. At the same time, 
the doctor write genome metadata to the blockchain. The metadata here includes the name of the data, ownership information, and the hash value of the genome raw data. Next, organization one doctor refers to the genome, data, genome metadata and search for data that he want to utilize. If the doctor finds data that the doctor want to utilize, the doctor writes a request to the data owner in the blockchain for access rights. Organization 2 doctor checks if there is a request for access rights. If the doctor approves the request, the doctor writes the information to the blockchain. When Organization 1 doctor gets the access right, the doctor requests Organization 2 to analyze the genome data. The request written by the doctor of Organization 1 is read and the processing is started by the data processor of Organization B. The data processor reads the specified genome data from the genome data storage. Finally, the results of the data processor's processing are written to the blockchain. Last section. I will summarize this presentation. First, I explained some background on the market needs and explained introduction that includes how blockchain work. Next, I showed a demonstration of starting a public network installed a simple private chain code and checking its operation using GUI data viewer. Third, I explained the motivation for this presentation by comparing it to related work. Last, I explained the design and approach of the system in this presentation. Brand names and product names used in this presentation are trademarks, registered trademarks, or trade names trade names of their respective holders. This is the end page of this presentation. Thank you for listening to my presentation.